What's going on? So today I wanted to talk about exotic materials, in specific ostrich. We get a lot of questions about them, so let's get into it. I'm Eddie Barrett. Welcome to Atomic Auto Works. A lot of times there's reasons why you would choose it. Real ostrich, like this, real leather hides, will have their quills where the feathers go, and then they'll have a smooth area like around where the belly goes. When you're patterning off that, you're limited to what you can do for designs. Also, price on real ostrich is very expensive. It's per market, but it's usually over 10 times what it would cost for an imitation leather. Before, our only option was the real stuff or a printed version of an ostrich print. This printed version looks cool. It doesn't really last that long. I always tell people, you know, it starts to wear after about two seasons. Most people put these on show cars and show bikes, so it doesn't get a lot of traffic, but it will wear. It also doesn't have the three-dimensional quills like the real stuff does. Years later, they came out with actually this stuff here, which is a great imitation. It's very affordable. The only difference in real look is it's very consistent. You get a whole 54 by one yard, you know, cut yardage or linear yardage of this material. So it's all the same print. You don't have the flat spots of leather like you would here where you have the quill stop and the leather start. It's all a quilled print. Some people like that. One of the problems we used to have back in the day is people would want an ostrich sheet and they want full ostrich. And it's really tough to do because their hides are actually not as big as you would think with giant holes in the middle of them. So it's difficult to actually get a whole full motorcycle seat out of real ostrich. Sometimes you have to buy two or three hides just to do that. So it gets very expensive. Also, the best looking ostrich is more of a natural dye. The problem with that is if it gets wet or dirty, it's really difficult to clean. If you get a chrome dyed where it looks like regular leather with a nice consistent leather, it is a lot more durable. However, it looks just like the imitation stuff. So it's really weird. And some of the some of the, the actual dyeing process that they would do on real ostrich kind of looks cheaper than the aftermarket stuff. You know, it is the leather you do get a nicer feel for it, and we recommend on high-end bikes, you know, you always go with the higher end option. When our only option was this printed stuff, it was difficult because like I said before, it does wear. As soon as they came out with this three-dimensional quilled vinyl, we were skeptical because you know, you don't know how it's going to work on a motorcycle seat where it really sees the sun and the elements. But now we've been using this for over 10 years, I believe. And it's a great product that works really nice. Price wise, you're paying yardage versus real natural. So it's a huge variation in pricing. I mean, just exponentially less money. And you get a nice, really nice look and you get that very cool ostrich. Also, sometimes when you're doing an ostrich seat, particularly cars are a little bit easier because you're not working with a lot of tight contours, but on motorcycle seats, some of them you have to make the actual patterning according to how the material falls because the imitation and the reel, whenever you go by a quill, the material wants to kind of bend at that point. So you start getting really curved radiuses you're gonna to wanna to have the eat where each quill is, you're gonna to wanna to wrinkle. And they don't really stretch that well. The actual real leather stretches better than the imitation, either imitation. This one actually stretches very well like a vinyl, but the more you stretch it, the prints start to disappear. So I guess with that said, it's not that difficult to choose what option you're looking for. If you have a bike that you tour with and you ride with, it's gonna get wet, it's gonna be out in the sun. I would suggest the imitation. If you're looking for a show bike where you're gonna be in a garage or at shows and ridden only in fair weather, then you would go with a real ostrich. Um, we do do the print stuff for people who want an ostrich look, but do not want the quills. Okay, so with that said, all you ostrich lovers, um, hopefully that helps out with your decision on what you wanna use for your bike.